Alright, hey guys, so today I'll be doing a developer commentary on one of the games in the realistic driving universe. <coughs> Stony Bridge, Texas. I'll be discussing some of the stuff that's going to be included in the game anyways. So let's get started. The first thing I'll be mentioning is the towns <coughs> that are going to be included in the map. The first town that is going to the first town is going to be the main town, Stony Bridge. The town is going to be based ar along, or based near, the F Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex along the Grant Creek, which is not signed along the I-20 corridor. The city's only two main roads are Farm Road 2370 and Interstate 20. The town was once an oil producing city during the 1700s before it was moved to Port Arthur, Texas in 1898 after the city was incorporated. The only historical landmark in the city is, down, is the downtown area. Next we have Haskell. It is located on the other side. Haskell is located on the other side of the creek along US 1, 175. The town is an unincorporated community that was founded during the mid-1770s and, and originally was called Platte Springs. The official name, the official name was adopted in 1759 by the Texas General Assembly and the status of it being a community was repealed in 1991. Haskell sits at a three-way intersection on Texas State Route 84. The current roads in the town are Texas 84, US 175, and Farm Road 2022. The only building in the town is the nearby airport located two miles out of the town. The third town is is, is included in the map is Cross Creek, which is more of a historical town. The town is located on FM 2094 off of I-20 in Kaufman County. The town was founded in 1852 and was nicknamed the Prideland of North Texas. The town is home to many historical buildings such as the bank located in the downtown area. Before I-20 was constructed, people had to take US 175 to get to town but after the opening of Interstate 20 in 1957, it eventually made, made it much easier to get to Cross Creek. The town is situated on the far east of Kaufman County, only a short distance from the Dallas County line. There's a creek that runs through on the outskirts of town on the south side. The last city that is going to be in the game is Terrell. The city is only going to contain the south side of Terrell. The city has two interstates, Interstate 20 and Interstate 120, an alternate route of I-20 that acts like a bypass route into downtown, while I-20 cuts to the t south portion of the city. That's the list of the towns that are going to be in the game. Next, I'll be discussing the routes in the game so far. I-20 is going to be the main highway through the game. FM 2370 is going, is going to be the main road for Stony Bridge, connecting I-20 and US-175. Texas 225 is the main road that is going to run through through Middleboro. The highway connects the city of La Porte in southeast Texas to Gainesville, where it leaves the city, crossing the Oklahoma state line, ending at a three-way intersection with Oklahoma State Route 32 in Marietta, Oklahoma. The route was originally planned to be extended to Oklahoma City, signed as Oklahoma 225, but was never constructed. FM 2094 stretches from Kima to uh, Wenan, Wen, Wyandot and, a and acts as Cross Creek's main road. I-20 is a bypass route into the city of Terrell to make it easier to get access into the city. FM 2117 runs for a short distance through the south side of Terrell. Texas 84 connects the city of Grants Falls to Abilene. Texas 225 Spur and Texas 515 will all be located outside of Mill Middleboro, intersecting, intersecting with Texas 225 and FM 2022 only runs for about 5 miles before ending at US 175. The game will be based around the North, Te North Texas near the Dallas area containing several small towns scattered through the map, throughout the map, with two counties included, Dallas and Kaufman. 
So yeah, that's all I have to say. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone!